Good afternoon and happy weekend. <laughs> it's been a long week at work for me. So first uh, update I want to give you guys is this is the tail gear retract. I uh, got the design from Chad Vike. Been in touch with Chad over the years a couple of times, so I wanted to give you guys a little teaser of some of the things that Chad is amazing at, and some of these scale details is one of them. So this is 3D printed, uh, with exception of this main piece. Uh, the the shaped piece here is brass, and there is a steel rod that goes through this carbon fiber tube. There are little donuts inside the carbon tube to hold this steel shaft center, so that it, was, it swivels really nice. Uh, there's going to be a little yoke up here that I still have to solder, uh, so that the steering wheel will be steerable. So I wanted to show you how the retract mechanism works. So there'll be a servo push rod here, and it'll retract like so. That's probably a little too high, but I'll be able to adjust that on the servo once I install it. So down and up. And the nice thing is that when it's down is that it's in a locked position. So because of this concave angle you see here, it's going to naturally want to stay locked where this rod is pushing up against the, uh, the mounting plate. So when it hits, it's not going anywhere. And these are pretty thin uh, ABS prints, but it, once you assemble it all together, it's quite strong. So I was thinking this was going to be my prototype uh, version, but I may be able to touch it up and make it the final version, so we'll see. The uh, elevators needed quite a bit of work. Uh, the tip blocks were not installed, but only one of them had the balance tabs. So I had to fabricate a balance tab for the other elevator and I went ahead and I uh, beveled the leading edge and I installed the blocks for the U connection because the, the connection for it is all internal. And uh, I went ahead and installed some other balsa in this one particular, particular elevator for a boost tab. Now the, this model isn't that big that I need a boost tab, but the full scale did have one, and uh, that's pretty much it. The other thing that I've been up to is looking for more 3D printable tools, and this is one of them. This is a 3D printed razor planer. Pretty happy with it. It's uh, sort of adjustable, but it uses these disposable uh, razor blades, so that'll be a good tool for use in the future as well. Oh, there's lots of balsa dust. There's lots of things to get done uh, before the Thanksgiving holiday. Thanks for watching, guys. I look forward to getting more work done and appreciate your support and interest in the project. It's going to be fun. I've got some fun plans coming. Uh, look at some other ideas that I'll be talking about later. Have a great weekend.